My mirror is so gross. <laughs> I really should have cleaned it before I started. <laughs> It's Brie and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a test and review on the all-new Quick Lash by Quick Flick. Now, this is a whole new range by Quick Flick. I've been meaning to try it for quite a while, but just haven't gotten around to it. But guess what? Finally got around to it. But in the past, I have done a Quick Flick review as well. So I will leave the link for you in the top right-hand corner and in the description box below for you guys. You can go check it out if you want. But yeah. I'm super duper excited to try these because they are zero magnets, glue or latex and they're reusable as well and apparently they're super easy. So you can get the eyeliner in two different kinds or colours. I don't know. Clear's not a colour but anyway. Anyway, you can get it in clear and in black. I got the clear just because I felt like if I don't feel like wearing eyeliner but I want to wear my lashes, this is the best way to go. And then I can also just put black eyeliner over the top anyway, so... And I also believe that there's four different styles of lashes to pick from. I bought Modders because I thought that they were the nicest. But yeah, I thought they were the nicest. I probably will have to trim them. That's with all lashes, really. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stop blabbering on and I'm going to get on to trying them out and trying to stick them to my eyeballs. So it also says on the box that they are 100% cruelty free, restickable, windproof, and vegan. Massive yes from me. So I'm going to open her up. I haven't opened these up. I've had them sitting on my desk for like a week and I've just been meaning to film this video and I just haven't. I can't get it open. <laughs> <laughs> so that is what the liner pen looks like. Is it just like a little, yeah, it's just like a little brushy felt tip pen. So that's what it looks like. And I'm guessing I just kind of line my eyelid, like where I'd put eyeliner. And then I'm going to go ahead and try and stick them on. So um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes. I really like the clear because you can't tell how bad an eyeliner I am. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and open up my eyelashes that upside down, but I'm going to go ahead and open them. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and trim them because they're quite long. Alrighty, so they're trimmed and now I'm just going to go ahead and try and stick them to my face. Alright, here we go. Do they just like... Oh. I love the style of them, like of the eyelash itself, like it is really pretty. I really like it. But the thing is, because you put the eyeliner on your eyelid, like where you'd normally put eyeliner, and that's kind of like where they stick. And you know, I don't actually like that. Eyelashes are supposed to go on the edge of your eyelashes. Alright, well I got one on. I'm going to go ahead and try it and stick the other one on. Maybe I need more eyeliner. Maybe I put it on too late or early. I don't know. I'll give it a go. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and apply it more eyeliner because she and I will stick. Alright, let's try it again. I've just applied more eyeliner. Man, they're not playing nice. They're not what I expected. Alrighty, so I've gone ahead and I've stuck them on and they actually look beautiful. Like, I love the style of the lash. However, they just weren't what I was expecting. They were actually a little bit tricky to get on. To be quite honest, I think I'd rather just use glue <laughs> to put eyelashes on than, you know, wrestle with the eyelashes and trying to get them to stick. And then the thing is, once you've got like one corner on, the other corner would lift up. I mean like the concept is really good and the ID is great but for me I personally wouldn't buy it again I like I liked it but I didn't love it it just wasn't a home run honestly like it just yeah I mean like I'm not gonna do a win test I mean like I feel like I'd probably they probably would last yeah I mean they're already lifting and I literally only just put them on and the other thing I don't like is that they have like a really thick like clear strip on the edge of the lashes 
which I don't know. I find it's a lot harder to stick than if you have something that's thinner. So that's another downside. I didn't love the clear thick band. I mean they might look better with a bit of dark eyeliner. So the dark eyeliner adhesive or whatever it is might work better. Might look better, might hide it. I'm just not in love with them. Like ideas are pretty good really. But yeah, just missed the mark for me, to be honest, which is really upsetting because I actually really, really love the idea of these. Oh well, that's what tests and reviews are for, right? Anywho, that is the end of today's video. If you did enjoy it, please make sure you do hit like and subscribe. It would really help me out a lot. Also, follow me on Instagram if you'd like. I will leave it on the screen for you guys, and I'll also leave this link in the description box for you as well. Now, please, please, please stay safe, stay inside, wash your hands, whatever. Don't get COVID. Yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.